The House has passed a bill that would force TikTok's hand in abandoning its ties with China or no longer be available in the U.S. The bill is a controversial one, but easily passed with support from both parties. The total vote, 352 in favor, 65 against. The bill gaining rare congressional support and consensus. Lawmakers spoke on the House floor before the vote. Democrats and Republicans in favor of the bill had shared concerns. With the app owned by a Chinese company, could it pose a serious risk to Americans, given China is an adversary? The First Amendment does not give the Chinese Communist Party the right to American data or the right to manipulate the minds of Americans. That would be a really weird interpretation of the First Amendment. This bill is not a ban, and it's not about TikTok, it's about ByteDance. Let me tell you about ByteDance. ByteDance is a 100% owner of TikTok. ByteDance is controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. Democrats and Republicans opposed to the bill also had shared concerns. Is it constitutional for the U.S. to force the hand of a private business? Does the move violate Americans' freedoms? If we're going to address this issue, we've got to take the same approach to all social media platforms. We can't just single out one. Now, I join many of my colleagues and the ACLU in voicing concern over the freedom of expression. This is a Pandora's box. What's to stop Congress or the United States government in the future from forcing the sale of another social media company claiming that it's protecting Americans' data from foreign adversaries? As for TikTok users, all 150 million of you in the U.S., how could this impact you? Right now, nothing has changed, but users are wary knowing there's a chance the platform could disappear. There's been protests picking up steam, users calling Congress members and standing on Capitol Hill, asking lawmakers not to jeopardize the social media site that some families rely on for income. There's much speculation into next steps. The Senate would have to pass the bill, and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer hasn't said yet whether the bill would even be brought to the floor for a vote. Now, if it is, and if it passes that chamber too, President Biden has said he would sign the bill into law. In that case, TikTok has 180 days to find a new owner outside of China. Who would buy? What if TikTok doesn't sell? While the word ban isn't technically anywhere in this bill, there is a chance the app could go dark in the U.S., passing the House being phase one.